We've got a large variety of stuff coming in here next with Kenny. So Kenny is, as I mentioned, the buyer for Dave's Marketplace. And what I found very unique and why I wanted to highlight this is that we're going from Italy to Rhode Island and we're going to go back to Italy, but the amount of local products, the amount of things that come out of Rhode Island that a lot of us don't know about, we can count on people like Kenny and the fine folks at Dave's to highlight them. So D Kenny, if you can come in and join me, I'm going to start to bring up some of this amazing stuff that we've already kind of highlighted in here. Oh, and he's going. good. How are you, sir? Thank you, Christina. Look at all the stuff. Whoa. All right, I'm going to move this back because I don't want to lose any of this. So look at that. I love that. Thank you very much for making the time to come in today. Thank really, you. really appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, so I know that a lot of people have already been texting me saying they want to know about the special guest that's coming in to join them, so we're not going to forget about that, I promise you. But this is going to be a highlight that I think is important and is going to have some great educational stuff, and I think some of my colleagues in the back here are going to be jumping for some of these items. They'll when be they taken care that, of at yeah, the end, Because yes. they're going to find out what some of these <laughs> things are. But we're going to start with, first tell me a little bit about you being a buyer. So a lot of people, i got a couple questions. Well, what does that mean? How many Dave's are there now? We have 10 stores, okay. all in Rhode Island, uh, locally owned and operated, which is something that may be a little different than nowadays. So right. Dave's a real guy. His name is Dave Cesario. I love that. Dave's a real guy. <laughs> yes. Well, people say, who's Dave? Is Dave there? He's still in the office every day, part of the day-to-day -day operations. He makes sure that the standards and qualities that he's been looking for continue right up to, right up to now. And you said there's five? Ten. Ten of them. So Ten. We just opened our... Right. 10th store in Cranston at the end of April. That's right. So I've been to the one that I go to in between client meetings is I always go to the one in Warwick that's at the intersection there. Airport Road. Airport Road. So yes. I'm going in and out of that one because it makes it easy for me as I'm going to meetings. And that store just got a facelift over the summer. Yes, we just right? remodeled that over the last, it took us about a year, 14 months. Right. And we took care of that and now it's absolutely gorgeous store. It's a, all the stores are beautiful. And yes. then you've got another smaller one that I pop into when I'm taking my son to karate that's in Smithfield. It's right across from his karate Actually, studio there. That's Dave's so, second store. Yep. So we have that one and then we opened up the one in Smithfield Crossings in the plaza Which right is a much larger store. Much larger. Right. But we still have the customers who love our small, we call it Little Dave's. It, and it is. And it's a smaller version correct. of the store but it's like that's what's been perfect for me as I hop in and out of there exactly. when the I'm doing my son's in karate. Of, so right. I love it. But Let's talk about what your position is as a buyer because 10 stores is no small feat to kind of handle there. So kind of give our, our guests a yes. little idea of what you do. So um, in our office, we have a director of procurement and he oversees all of us buyers. We have a gentleman who buys specialty foods, Rick Sylvia, and another gentleman who buys groceries, Scott Sullivan. And like I said, our director of procurement is Mike Sakosha. And then with me in there. So we handle basically all of the dry items when I say dry, the grocery inside, grocery items, and pr pretty much everything with the UPC within the whole store. So if you're looking at the produce department, I buy the stuff that have UPCs on it. It's got a tough job, doesn't it? Yeah, I bet you got to taste all this There's stuff, a, too. Yeah, we do, say, unfortunately. Say, say yeah, it's, it's a tough job. It's one of the tough jobs that we it's have. It's a really that's tough job. That's correct. And that's one of the things that we actually take very seriously because one person, I like very savory. I'm not a person who enjoys sweet. Okay. So if somebody's presenting something sweet to me, we make sure other people within the company are trying it. Because one opinion, right. you can't base it on one yeah, opinion. I can understand that. So yes. that's a pretty good segue. So I wanted to highlight Thanksgiving. And I didn't want to get into the traditional baste your turkey or do this for your turkey or your stuffing. I wanted to highlight items that could complement Thanksgiving traditions and things that are out there. And people's tastes, like you just were talking about, people's dietary restrictions have evolved over time. Um, I have, you know, just like some of my colleagues here, I have probably five family members joining me for Thanksgiving that are gluten-free. Correct. Um, and a lot of what you're featuring and products made in Rhode Island are coming up for this weekend. So, and I just got a message that someone said, well, what about Lydia? We're going to get to Lydia. <laughs> Real, relax. I'm going to get to Lydia. So we're going to talk about first this taste of Rhode Island. Taste of Rhode Island. Taste of Rhode Island. Correct. So I want to get to that and kind of highlight these products because there's a lot here. So I want to try to get as much as we can. And then we'll end talking about the special guests coming to see them this weekend, which he has, again, the, the tough job of <laughs> arranging these things. So, Kenny, tell me a little bit about some of the things you brought today. Yeah, well, they're all Rhode Island-based companies. And a lot of the items are being made out of a facility in Warren, Rhode Island called Hope and Maine. It's a business incubator program, yep. which we find wonderful. We love it's, it. We love it. They're doing, they're helping startup companies so much where they don't have to do that capital investment at the start. And they have a lot of folks from our industry who are very giving and want to help out and see people succeed. They'll have finance people come in. They'll have insurance people come in. 
They'll have buyers come in, they'll have distributors come in, just to explain the ins and outs of the business to the customer. I mean, excuse me, to the right. to the um, entrepreneur. Right. So it gives them a good baseline of what it's going to entail to get their business going. So places like Open Main make this possible. So we can again thank them because they've, they've got Correct. things going on on a regular basis. So let's get into this. What do we got here? Let's start well, start with something I'm familiar with and love. What yeah. do we got here? At Thanksgiving, we, everybody's going to have some sort of a cheese item and Navigancy Creamery. The right here in Providence, we've had the enjoyment of going to the facility, yep. seeing everything being made. So it's just trying to get somebody, there's nothing wrong with the national brands, but if you can help a Rhode Island company go along the way, it sort of Absolutely. makes it a little more special. And this was Atwell's, so again, something I'm fond of, Federal Hill, Atwell's Ave. Correct. But, and I am that guy on Thanksgiving that makes the Italian antipasto. This is what I use already, so I Excellent. love it. So I was already excited yes. about that one. What are we next? Let's go to some of this up front here. People tend to like the biscotti along the way, and like you'd Thinking mentioned, the Italian some traditions folks eh? had the um, were gluten free with celiac problems, so there were gluten free biscottis that we do, and that's A and J Bakery. Kane Molly, did you hear that? And they are right in Rhode Island as well. Nut and gluten free. That's correct. So beautiful. So this one is assorted. Yeah, we wanted to make sure you tried all different varieties. Look at that, well. and this one, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Everybody beautiful. wants pumpkin this time of the year. So yes, we brought a pumpkin along. As Absolutely, well. love it. And that. they're going to be at the event that we're having on Saturday, the Taste of Rhode Island. These companies are all going to be here, so it's going to be the owners of the companies. So they'll be able to right describe there. their product to the guests that that's are coming. That's correct. But from sampling. a tasting percent, it's all sampling. Absolutely, okay. everybody's everything's going to be sampled. Everything that you see, the owners of the company are there, so they can answer any question. And there's nothing better than seeing the pride. From, somebody from who's the people put this in the product. It, right. That's correct. So this is a big thing that we highlight all the time. Obviously, I was just tasting wine. Now we're going into the segment of talking about this, and then I'm going to go back to some more stuff associated with food. This is where it becomes important, and I mentioned before in talking about Alforno about getting on mailing lists and understanding these things. If you're not putting yourself out there to check this stuff, you're going to miss this great event. And this particular event is happening in the East Greenwich, East Greenwich, store, in East Greenwich store. And what time does it start? So I want to make sure we put that out the there. The Rhode Island tasting is going to be starting at 10 o'clock. So okay. that would be from 10 until 12. So 10 to 12. And well, then our no, special guest. Don't, don't, don't give, get we'll get to that, that in a minute. But, so 10 to 12. So <laughs> 10 set, to 3. 10 to 3, okay. 10 to 3. So 10 to 3, you're out shopping anyways. Thanksgiving is a couple weeks away. I'm giving you plenty of notice to be able to try these amazing things and add them to your dinner. So we got the biscotti, which is not going to go to waste. Where did we leave And then we're going to go so? back to the cheese. All right, let's go ahead, Chief. Now, a pimento cheese. Pimento. Correct. So if you live in the South, pimento cheese is on everybody's table. If you come up to New England, very few people know what it is. Right. So the woman that owns the company, her name is Elizabeth, she's going to bring a little bit of home up here. So when I'm thinking pimento, I'm thinking olives. And it has no olives in it. Really? Cheddar cheese, the first ingredient, mayonnaise. She has some other spices in there. And when you try it, when you guys try this after, amazing. you're not going to believe the, and the she's flavor out of, on it. And she's out of warm. Hope and Maine. She's producing in Hope and Maine as well. That's amazing. And when she does a demo in our store, when I say demo, demonstration, sampling, she'll sell 50 packages, 60 packages in a matter of three hours. Just because people have finally tried it, because so they would never try it. Pimento cheese. Okay, so now we want. So that, that's a secret. Pimento. That's a secret that. winner. That will add something different to your table, that people are going to taste it and go, "What is this?" Absolutely. All right. What do we got? We got butter cuisine. Butter cuisine. Yes. This is an item. Actually, it's debuting today in our store. We just cut it in our store Look today. Look at that. They'll be here on um, Saturday as well. They're going to be doing some dishes with some fish. So we got some garlic and herb, they have a lemon caper. It's a compound finishing butter. Okay. So what that is, it's, you don't do it initially, it's to finish the dish, and it doesn't take a lot of product to go a long way for the flavor profile. So a lot of people have green beans on their table for Thanksgiving. And garlic and butter. Garlic and butter, exactly. Yeah. Even and potatoes, like you said. Potatoes, like, yeah. exactly. So it's a little bit different than just having the pad of butter that you put onto it. It adds another flavor profile to it. My God, see, I'm already drooling. I'm like, they went from wine to this food. You can't get out pickles, next? right? Because you want your pickle oh, no, dish. Oh, the pickles right? are awesome. So, and Fox Point Pickle, again, Ziggy's been in business for probably about three years now, three, four years. And he's been doing extremely well with his business. And he, we're going to have, like I said, everybody's going to need some pickles along the way. So instead of going with the national brand, maybe it's time to give a shot to one of the local guys. Absolutely. All right. We so, salads. We have Rhode Island organic salad dressing. And this is Carter, and he'll be there to answer questions about his product. Balsamic vinaigrette. That's correct. And he has five different varieties that we really? sell in the store. Yes. So these are the little sleepy things that not everybody realizes. At Dave's, we don't put stuff on one display and say, 
This is what island items. We put them right in the aisle, side by side with the other dressings, because we we feel that they've earned that privilege. You know, it's right. they've earned that to be on the shelves, standing up against a national brand. So when you do that, and mm -hmm. I and I think that's amazingly important. So I'm thrilled to hear that. But when you do this, so days like you're doing now is highlighting all these products, and it's incredibly important to to have them out there. And you know, we talk about locally sourced. A lot of the chefs have come in, and we've talked about you know whether they buy it from the farms or local vineyards or any of that kind of stuff. That's important. So now we're talking about products that are actually physically produced that are here, and they're getting the same attention in your store Without as national doubt. as that's national correct. brand products. So and that's what our customers are looking for. Right nowadays, customers are looking for something if they can buy something that's coming locally, they're more than happy. It may cost another fifty cents or a dollar to do that, but, but we're finding our customers, <clears throat> our customers are asking more and more for us to continue bringing local products. Right. So we listen to. Them. If our customer's looking for something, we try to source it if we can. And it's unbelievable. All right, so I got something cold over here. What do we got here? Well, that's dessert. That's dessert. ice cream. Dessert. <laughs> See, I, I go right for the dessert. <laughs> and that, what's different about this ice cream, it has six grams of, di of dietary fiber. So this was developed by a physician. His name is Dr. A. Miss. He's right here in Rhode Island. And most of the ice creams out there have one gram or zero grams of dietary fiber. So if you're going to indulge in something and have an item that's make it good for you. Right, exactly. At least you can get some fiber in there as well. So, and when you taste this later, you're not going to... I'm going to be out of it's my mind. fantastic. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, it's an item that you wouldn't say, oh my goodness, there's too much fiber in here. It, it's really, it's basically just a little bit of a benefit to having a good thing. Yeah, so far there isn't anything we're going to go wrong Are with you it. a gin and tonic guy? Oh, I'm a gin and tonic guy. Right where your hand is. Look at this. Yeah. Classic <laughs> citrus tonic. <laughs> Cocktail instead of Made it easy. Even has a recipe right on the side for You're you. You're kidding me. Okay. We Boot black gin and tonic. That's correct. And Paul yeah, and Jackie nice. will be here, and she's going to be showing that product. Of course, we're not going to be pouring gin and tonics. At yeah, the no, place. no gin and tonics while you're at Sorry <laughs> no, about that, folks. But that's another great item, and that's produced right over here as well. And, and I love the name, too, Boot Black. That's awesome. Yes, yep. And I am. That's my drink for most of the summer. But and he's my starting to get into different um, bars restaurants so they're, they're making a it's a tough business to you know to crack into but they're doing a very nice job with it as well fantastic all right what do we got next i feel like we're well like now we're getting after so like day two got, time for the turkey someone sandwiches just text, someone just texted me a question <laughs> asking at the sampling you just got your answer no, not, they're not doing gin <laughs> not, no gin and tonics no <laughs> not gonna happen jim sorry about that and oh um, so when we're looking day after everybody's gonna have turkey sandwiches you can put i'm okay with that i like it you like your mayonnaise? Well, we can do things a little bit different. Backyard food. They have a spicy jalapeno, so it's, but it's a sweet, and then it comes with a little bit of spice after it. And when they do their demonstrations, this is their number one seller. All right. So Sherry just texted me, our friend Sherry, that's always out there saying that this is something that she loves is food. Like, all right. So I will bring some home for Thanksgiving <laughs> since you're joining me. All right. So you'll have it there. Now you got your shout out too. All right. What are we missing? We got the oh, little same guys thing. in here, right? These are all more or less for sandwiches. The next day, they're very good with poultry. This is um, Mesa Fresca, and it's Alan and Nathania. She's um, the brother and sister, and their parents come from Argentina. So this is something that goes really nice on a sandwich afterward with poultry. And it's we find it sort of interesting so because similar. you're coming from a different background, a heritage, but yet they're bringing it over here where it's going to go in fantastic with, like I said, on top of a turkey sandwich instead of... Not that there's anything wrong with mayonnaise, but Ooh. it's a little bit of a, a different taste to it. Whoa. And then you have this, where this is based with avocado oil in avocados. And as everybody knows, and gluten, avocados... And gluten-free. That's, that's free of an awful lot. It's soy-free as well. So that's an item that a lot of people are looking for. And avocados, a lot of folks are looking for avocados now. You know, they, we're yeah. selling so many avocados. So this is a little bit of a... It's not a mayonnaise. There's no eggs in it either. So you're getting a nice spread. But yeah, and if you're a vegan, that's a great item. But you wouldn't be putting it on your turkey sandwich if you were vegan. Yeah, I was so say, that's you gotta have that. <laughs> you gotta have that with something else. You got it. All right. So what do we? Did we get to the cabbage? Uh, yeah. No, we didn't. And this is a probiotic. It's a fermented food. So this is another trend that we're seeing. People are looking for probiotics. They're looking for fermented items. Okay. It helps with your digestion. It helps your stomach a little bit. So we're seeing that we're selling an awful lot of this product as well now. It's so like in line with the kimchi. You know, yeah. kimchi, we're seeing an awful lot of people, you know, asking in the stores for kimchi as well. And mm. actually, a woman, her name is Minnie, she'll be sampling her kimchi at our demo as well, at our um, tasting on Saturday. This is unbelievable. Like, I, 
I'm ending an awe already, and I can't answer any more questions, so y'all got to hold on, just listen. <laughs> All right, so did now, we do this? this item here, if you want to make, like, some meatballs on the side or something, and you just put a jar of this, you go with some meatballs in there, slow cooker. Mojo. M yep, he calls it Mojo. His name mojo. is Walter, he calls it Mojo. mojo. Oh, Mojo, I'm sorry. Yes, the and okay. Walt will be there again on Saturday looking to do that to sample, and once you try that, it's amazing, the flavor of it. So, and that's something a little, again, it's something a little different. Thanksgiving is very traditional, so everybody has this, basically the staples. But if there's just something you want to add a little flair to the to the meal, it will give you some good ideas when you come okay. in on Saturday. If anybody didn't think that there's some great suggestions here, I, I don't know what's wrong with you, because this is a, <laughs> I'm already like an overload of the amount of things that I'm going to pull pulling into my Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner. Okay, so for everyone that was waiting, we covered a lot of stuff here already, an amazing amount of things. We will bring up now and talk about the special guest that is going to be coming in. It's time? It's the time. So let's okay. get in it before I get, I can't answer anybody else's questions because they're all driving me nuts here. And... All right, so this, here you go. Lydia Bastanich will be coming in to Dave's in East Greenwich, right. the same location that they are hosting. The same day. Uh, same day yes. that they're doing the Taste of Rhode Island. So. This is her new book. It's been all over the place. I know my friend Gail Champa covered it in the Providence Journal this morning to talk about it in an interview. She's had amazing books. The last time I saw her was at the Newport um, yeah, Wine and Food Festival. Wine and Food Festival five years yeah. ago, so she was there. Correct. I think that's literally the last time I saw her, and I had a great conversation with her in the book and everything. So it's unbelievable the stuff she comes up with. She has a phenomenal history. You know that she's a celebrity chef. You know that she's a cookbook author. Um, and it's a family affair with her. Oh, absolutely. Right? It's Lydia, her daughter, Tanya. Yeah. And they write the books. And her son-in-law, Tanya's husband, Corrado, he runs the food part of the business, Nona Foods. So it's a natural tie-in. And we developed quite a nice friendship with Lydia. Right. This is family. not the first time she's come to visit uh, She's been here four or five times now. And she loves coming to Rhode Island. That's one thing. Every time you know she has a book coming out, She's always reaching out to us and saying, Kenny, can we come into Dave's? We want to go see the customers. I mean, she truly like enjoys that. the state. It, it's true. And the people have a really nice time at the event. So it's just, it's that almost that family atmosphere. And right. she brings that in where everybody loves her, you know, so when you're looking at her. You guys have carried her products for quite some yes, time. Yes, correct. So we've got, what are we, what are we bringing? and talk about this because it's important what's happening with her products. Yes. So for the event that we have, the book is a $35 book. So we're selling it for twenty dollars, and we've also—I don't know why we did it, but we did it. We've decided to give you a bottle of a <laughs> bottle of. Sauce. He doesn't know why they did it, but it's, you're going to be glad <laughs> that he you're did. Be glad so. we did it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we spoke with Carado, and yeah. we really wanted everybody, as a thank you for coming to the store, to coming to meet her. She really appreciates it. We want to give you something along the way. So you're going to get a pasta sauce. You're going to get a one-pound box of pasta. Unbelievable. Along with a book, for twenty dollars. And she's going to be signing She's going to right? sign them, and she actually personalizes them. Right. So right. what we do is we'll have a line in the store, and it moves rather quickly, and we'll make sure the names are spelled properly so everything is ready for her by the time it gets to her. So you'll have your time to speak with her, but yet you'll know the name, so she's not going to ask you how to spell a name because right. it's all... We have that all taken care of before the customer even gets up to So her. if you get there and you see a long line, you don't have to fear. It's all handled and you're in good shape. You're going to be there. good because we hand out pizza along the way. We, nobody goes home hungry. I was going to say, you're not going to be hungry. No, absolutely not. Between the tasting of That's this stuff correct. and the other things you do. And we do our own store pizzas, in-store pizzas, so we make sure we have plenty of those and we have the folks walking up and down throughout the store handing that you out You could be well. at Dave's for like three hours alone just on Saturday doing this. That's be, correct. You could be in great yes. shape. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be fine. Yeah, Nobody's going to go great home hungry. So we covered all the Liddy information. Now it's out there. Everybody understands it, gets it. it. One important thing. Of course. It's while supplies last. Okay. Okay, so right now we probably have about 400 books left. So we did start selling the books when we this announced mine. it. mine. Nobody's getting it. Don't ask. It's yeah, mine. so that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's we mine. have 399 left. <laughs> it's <laughs> so not going anywhere. We started selling it oh, probably about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And so, like I said, so it is a first come, first serve. Okay. I don't so foresee it there, being... That's correct. Get there I, early. I think it's better to secure... <laughs> get there early, start your tastings. We don't want anybody to be disappointed when they come here. Yeah. But Fantastic. That, it's important that people know that. This is unbelievable. Very, very thrilled. Very exciting. Now, just a, you know, kind of to wrap it up for you, mm -hmm. this type of visit, this yep. coming out there because you guys carry all these products and to have 10 stores in Rhode Island, it gives you some of that quote-unquote buying power to do these. 
Is this, I mean, Lydia comes out, this is, I think, what, third or fourth yeah, time? Yeah, fourth time. Fourth time? Yes, yeah. she's been out there too. Do you have other people that you work with that you try to bring out as well to do different things? Yes, with book signs, yes. We okay. have a very good reputation in the state. Again, it's because the customers come to it. So as some of the chefs are putting their books out, we now have a very nice relationship with the folks. So they let me know ahead of time, hey, we've got this coming out in April. We have this book coming out in May. And then we work a date together to try to, you know, to make it easy for everybody. That's awesome. So again, something you want to make sure that you get your name out there, check out their website and the mailing list so that you can find yes. out about these things as they're coming up. So you don't want to miss them. This has been fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. This is like overwhelming between the wine and this. So thank you so much. I really appreciate coming, <laughs> Kenny. We appreciate I look forward thank to you, coming out on Saturday. I will be there. We'll try to do a quick Facebook Live out there. Yeah. I'm going to take a very quick break.